Greetings everyone, this is Vaza here. 2020 is almost over, and boy what a year has it been. But now there's just mere hours left. And before the year finally ends, I just wanted to have a little chat. Just a little short chat talking about how things are going. So 2020 has been a, a year where many changes have taken place. Not particularly on my side, but you know. The year started off with me doing a playthrough of a game called Sheep, Dog and Wolf, which uh, didn't end up doing that well, but it's a forgotten game. The game's music is really good, and I still use its music in my videos right now, so if you want to know some music that I use in my videos, some of it is from that game. Also, during 2020, I have been hosting and recording some uh, bomb tag tournaments, and there's actually another one coming very soon in January 2021, so that will be fun to see. Except for that one, I'm not gonna be recording it, we're gonna have streaming from a certain other guy named Salty. Also in 2020, I have been playing a lot of Bomber Grounds, and the Bomber Grounds videos have been doing pretty well. The earlier ones have thousands of views, so uh, I assume that people really enjoyed them. And of course, at the end of 2020, I started my new, uh, not a career choice, but a decision to become a VTuber. YouTubing is something that I've always wanted to do, ever since I was young, as you can clearly tell from my super very old videos that I have still on my channel. Which you definitely should not look at, because they are absolutely horrific and terrible. But, you know, I learn through the years, I have gotten better, the quality has gotten better, but at some point I just felt like things weren't moving along fast enough, so I ended up stopping. Truthfully, I just kind of ran out of new quality stuff that I could make. I ran to a brick wall, I wasn't sure if I could do any better. I wanted to use face cam, but I didn't want to use face cam because I didn't want to show my face. But having this VTuber thing is actually super fantastic. I am honestly sad and disappointed that I did not come up with this idea sooner because I really should have started this thing way earlier because the sooner you start, the better success you're likely going to have. But you know what? Better late than never. I started off wanting to do a video every single week but that's clearly too much so I ended up doing 5 videos a week but even that might be a bit much depending on what the videos are exactly. I'm unsure what the video schedule is going to be like in 2021, it might change a lot depending on how I sway. I seem to have more uh, good times playing video games, the, qu the commentary comes out way better and the editing is way easier as well. But I also do want to have an occasional off video with like reddit reactions or some random videos that I have in mind. They're much harder to do because I'm not very good at doing the whole talking thing but you know, I, I'll figure something out eventually. <laughs> In 2021, I hope to find more success and more people to collaborate with and more friends and maybe new colors in the ways that VTubing might go onwards. I've got in mind some video ideas that might do very well, so I hope that those do well. And also, maybe I'll get to join a VTuber group of some sort, that would be absolutely great as well. I also want to be able to get a new and fresh character design, whether it's 3D or not doesn't really matter. The studio one that I made is cool and all, but having a professionally made one would be absolutely fantastic. And I also want to be able to afford new hardware, and perhaps even newer software, just all sorts of upgrades to just do better and make more better quality content. Making anything easier and faster will give me a lot more time in my day, so that would make things a lot more manageable for me. Because right now I just manage everything. I manage the recording, the ideas, the editing, the social management, the commentary, just everything. It's been very stressful keeping up with everything. And in fact, I actually wanted to have an original intro for every single video, but I ended up scratching that idea because that was too stressful to come up with. I want to keep things a little bit simpler for the beginning. If I try too hard too early, I might do better content, but I also might completely just crumble, so I just wanna stay where I'm supposed to be right now. Which is still high enough that everything should be high quality, but low enough that I don't get completely overwhelmed. But other than that, that's basically all I want to say for now. I would love to do this VTubing thing as a career in the future, so if you want to support me in my endeavors, I've got multiple places that you can support me in right now. And of course I've got my subreddit as well if you want to post things there, that's my current community. 
I don't have a Discord yet, but one day I might, you know? And other than that, I hope to see you in 2021. Take care, everyone.